Welcome back. So here we are again, and in addition to commissioned oil paintings, I also offer art lessons. So it's for children, adults, young at heart. They're private or also small groups. So if it's something that interests you, I think you should definitely try it out. A lot of times I'll hear people say, well, Heather, I'm not an artist. And you will be surprised because it's really neat. I help people get out of their heads into their hearts so they're really able to connect within and they end up producing things that they didn't think was possible. So for me, it's a great joy, and it's one of the, the pieces that drive me for art lessons. So speaking of art lessons, one of my students, Lydia Bliss, she's a nine-year-old, and she has been with me since 2009. So it's been a great pleasure working with her, and she also had her first art show. So that was very exciting, and from that, she had the great idea of creating a newsletter. She wrote her own artist statement. So she's really ran with it. And it's just a passion of hers, obviously a passion of mine. So I think it's really special. And I'm happy to share that she now has her own website. It's webstarts.com forward slash Lydia Bliss Art. So feel free to check it out. You can also link to it from my website at heatherdenson.com. But what I do want to show you is that I feature local artists in addition to, you know, different art students. And this is the wall that I feature people on. So currently it's just my artwork that is up, but I do have a group coming in at the end of August. So this is the wall. They get the entire wall, design it how they wish, and then we have a show which is really fun. So you're probably wondering where do I paint? Well, I end up painting on the wall. So unless it's a smaller piece, which I just turn by hand and paint them, anything larger than probably a, a 12 by 12, I end up painting on the wall. So here's a few of my finished pieces. And you'll notice this blue one, I just put parchment paper behind it. it saves the walls somewhat, not completely. And so this one's in process. I'll actually have another snippet showing you the addition to it. But you'll see also further to the left, I have some bigger pieces. And these I'm working on for Stevens Design, which is a great local shop. And they feature beautiful furniture. So you can find them at stevensdesign.net. And so these are two. So the wall has become my space. And that originated because I was running out of space and my easel was too small. I was painting a four foot by six foot at the time. And my husband had the great idea. He's like, well, honey, why don't you just paint on the wall? So that's how it went, and that's how I paint. So thank you again.